Is Six returning to Little Nightmares 3? Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone, I'm the Global Cherry and today we'll be discussing everything to know about Little Nightmares 3, as well as some theories. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! Little Nightmares was one of my favorite series on this channel because it shows how horrifying a vast world is to a tiny child. Ah, what the heck is that? Ever since Tarzier Studios decided to stop producing Little Nightmares, I thought we would never see a third game. But Bandai Namco and Supermassive Games came in clutch. To give a quick recap of Little Nightmares 2, we play as Mono, a little boy wearing a paper bag. He's trapped in the world that has been distorted by the humming transmission of the signal tower. With Six, a girl in a yellow raincoat, they survive the nightmares of Pale City and uncover the dark secrets of the tower, only for her to betray him and reset his horrific cycle as the Thin Man. What are you doing? No! Then, Little Nightmares 1 begins, where Six ventures into the Maw, encounters monsters, becomes a tiny evil overlord, and betrays another character before escaping. Don't trust her, especially when she's hungry. Very Little Nightmares gives the backstory behind how Six got the raincoat in the first place. The DLC reveals the story of another kid named Runaway Kid, aka Seven, who also met Six in the first game before being dragged away by the janitor. What is Little Nightmares 3 about? Little Nightmares 3 takes place after both games. Just like the second game, two children will journey through this nightmarish world together to face their childhood fears. The difference is the characters are no longer named after numbers. Mono? Six? Seven? Five? Nah. The little girl dressed in a green jumpsuit and a pilot helmet is named Alone. The little boy with the cape, ankle bracelet, and plague doctor mask is named Lo. Both of them have their own skill set and unique items with various uses. Alone carries a wrench for the purpose of close combat, solving puzzles, and powering up ancient machinery. Lo is equipped with a bow for distant combat, puzzles, and hard-to-reach contraptions. Together, they will use their strengths to navigate the deadly world within the spiral. From what I'm seeing on their Steam page, they will explore various locations like the Necropolis, a sunlit desert. They're using umbrellas to fly over the bellowing hot air within the desert, using wind physics at their disposal. There's also an image with a dark, gloomy, deteriorating staircase which may indicate their return to the Maw in its destroyed state to stop the time loop or stopping Six from restarting it. There's also a carnival, a metro, an office, and other locations. There's a microphone in this office which could mean that it may be in a school. Maybe that pale city school in Little Nightmares 2. <laughs> this image looks like the place from the DLC with Runaway Kid, and this image looks very similar to the trash area 6 explored to get to the kitchen in the first game. The trailer showed these characters solving a puzzle involving a piano. If you looked closely, you would notice the teddy bear and the drawing of the Ma's eye in the shot. Could they also be returning to the Pale City Hospital in the second game? With the creepy doctor? They're carrying a fuse from that specific hospital after all. What reason do they have for going back there? Uh oh, no way! No way! No way! No way! Ah! That's when I noticed Alone looked a lot like someone from the comics. Pigtail Girl, the girl prone to nosebleeds. Pigtail Girl was locked in a hospital room alone, marking her remaining days on a wall. She dug a hole into the floor with a spoon, only to find herself in another room. She thought she was free at last, only to realize the doctor was eerily stalking her. It all makes sense. They have the same hair color. Alone is wiping away something from her face. Maybe nosebleeds? And when you think about it, we saw a glitched version version of Pigtail Girl in the second game. When Six got kidnapped by the Thin Man, a glitched version of her remained. That means that Pigtail Girl is not dead, but taken by the Thin Man. She must have then escaped to the necropolis. She was so done with this harsh world that she chopped off her pigtails. From examining her wrench, it's possible that this could be one of her broken spoons. Are there any other returning characters in Little Nightmares 3? In this shot, Alone and Lo are standing in front of a furnace. If you have a keen eye, you will notice a gnome to the left side. Those adorable cones are returning to Little Nightmares 3. We're gonna be the best of friends in this DLC. They're so quiet, lovable, helpful, and are too cute to eat. You hearing this, Six? You earned my friendship! Were you the same on my hug? No! 
What will threaten Alone and Low in this game? We see a creature with long arms and fingernails emerging out of a pipe behind them. It reminds me of the janitor, but unless Roger grew his arms back, that theory is debunked. Can't touch this. No, 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 no. They fight off beetles, leeches, and also encounter what looks like the guests of the Maw. The only difference is that they seem to have those warped faces like those TV creatures from Little Nightmares 2. I'm sorry for taking away your TV time! <laughs> In addition to this, the carnival seemed like a location to entrap the guests, just like part of the mall was. Oh my god! Ah! There's also this gigantic baby in the necropolis chasing alone and low. It could be responsible for the fall of the city. It also has an ability to turn people into stone or ash with its eye, just like in the Maw. Look, there's one victim that it got. Someone has been tying bodies all over the necropolis, perhaps as a way to pacify the giant baby and put it to sleep. Its face appears to be made out of porcelain like those porcelain children in the second game. So it could be a monster that emerged from Pale City. Let's get the weapon! Ah! Among these monsters, the most dangerous of them all would be the creature behind the mirror. Mirrors helped alone and low traverse through the levels and transfer between mirror to mirror. But the mirrors could also be their threat. The trailer shows a defined shot of a cracked mirror with a dark mist encapsulating it, bringing you a sort of dread. Others have said that this is the Mirror Man, an antagonist from the comics that kidnaps children after twisting and manipulating the essence of each kid. Using mirrors, he shows children their imagination and reflections, and uses their dark deepest desires to gravitate the kids towards him. If they wish the reflection was true, it becomes a reality. The mirrors could be what also gave Six and Mono abilities, Mono's transmission ability, and Six's Shadow Six and Hunger ability. Maybe that's what gave Alone and Low powers as well. Unless these children have abilities, it will be nearly impossible to defeat this entity. My second assumption was that the antagonist behind the mirror is Six. Six was always wary of mirrors, and warned the children in the comics to stay away from them. Ironically, she defeated the Lady of the Maw using a mirror. As Six kills her, she takes the lady's power and gets engulfed by dark mist. The same dark mist we're seeing in this trailer. She leaves the Maw to find her own place in the world. I correlated both of them as the same person. Just like how Mono and the Thin Man were the same person. The mirror in the trailer was cracked. But do you know who else cracked mirrors? The lady. The geisha lady's chasing me! Completely- <laughs> She hated seeing her own reflection and broke every single mirror. Six got what she desired from the mirror and it backfired on her. But maybe that's just a theory. A game theory. When can we play this game? We'll be able to play this game early 2024. You can play this game solo with an AI companion or co-op with your friend. Who knows? Maybe one of you will pull a hack on on each other. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe for more content like this and leave a like on this video. Comment down below your theories for this game. Is Six coming back to Little Nightmares 3? Is Alone really the pigtail girl? Thank you for watching and that's all.